गुड मॉर्निंग विनय सर या गुड मॉर्निंग वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग सर sir uh, our participants are joining so like we'll be starting in like 5 minutes if it is okay, okay no problem no problem no problem गुड मॉर्निंग दीप्ति मैम गुड मॉर्निंग सर विनय सर हैज जॉइन यस 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 ही हैज जॉइन सर विनय सर गुड मॉर्निंग आई गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर Prachin sir, we'll be starting session in two three minutes. Oh. I had a word with Vinay sir, so we'll be starting in two two minutes from now. Yeah. Yes.
Dipti ma'am, I think we should start now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, a very good morning to all of you present here on this day six of AICT sponsored short term training program on financial analytics organized by IBMR IPS Academy. Today, we have with us a uh, professor of high repute, uh, Dr. Vinay Goyal. Uh, Dr. Vinay Goyal is an associate professor in SPJ Institute of Management and Research, Mumbai. And today he is going to share his insight on uh, how to publish uh, research papers in high quality impact journals. Uh, Dr. Vinay Goyal is a, a PhD and, and he is also a CA and MBA and he is an associate professor of accounting and finance. He has completed his FDP from the prestigious IIM Ahmedabad and also he did his diploma in IFRS from KPMG. He is a rank holder chartered accountant with a PhD in management from Indore. He has worked for seven years at IIM Raipur and three years uh, at Goa Institute of Management, Goa. Dr. Goel has more than 20 research papers and case publications in the, in the Journal of International Repute and IV case publishing. Dr. Goel has conducted several MDP programs, both online and offline mode. He has supervised uh, till date eight PhD candidates who are providing their services in reputed uh, industries and uh, academics. So um, once again, uh, IBMR IPS Academy welcomes Dr. Vinay Goel. Uh, before we hand over this podium to Dr. Goel, dear participants, I would like to share one thing. Dr. Goel is right now in Haridwar and enjoying Kumbh Mela. And uh, initially, he uh, four to five days ago, he requested me to cancel this session. But on our request, he is ready to conduct this session from the Haridwar only. So Dr. Goel, thank you very much for your consent once again and <laughs> accepting our request. Uh, we hope that you are enjoying this Kumbh Mela. And I also wish that all the participants would be benefited from your session and uh, they would be also ek hamare bhi jo hai research mein ek ek step aage badhne mein madad milegi so we welcome you once again sir thank you thank you dr mittal right so uh, good morning to everybody right so uh, this session uh, i am uh, what is the objective of conducting this session and uh, in the last five days of this uh, training program which you are undergoing, a type of orientation or and there are some and there are there were very learned professors who took care about the usage of financial techniques or econometric techniques or financial analytics techniques. But learning the learning financial analysis techniques, uh, learning the econometric techniques, having the idea of all these techniques is of no use if you don't apply this. The prime objective of uh, my session, which I am going to take, is uh, uh, what are the various elements or what are the various avenues where you can publish. So number one is where you can publish, where to start with. What are top high quality journals? What top high quality journals are looking for when it comes to publication? Uh, what is the weakness that we have? Uh, some of you must be publishing. Some of you would have published. Some of you are new in publishing. Some of you wants to start publishing, whatever. Uh, at the end of the day, research is that field which, uh, which is limitless, right? It's an ocean. So when it is an ocean, it's limitless. It is important for everybody to keep on learning. So today's session, I will just sensitize you the uh, importance of research, the importance of publication, where you can publish, how you can publish, what are the various avenues of publication, what is considered as the what is considered as the 
top quality publication what is what is uh, what is considered to be a quality publication if i not say top quality what is considered to be a uh, acclaimed publication the journal categories the, the category publication which we call what are the various type of publication that you can do and so on and so forth so i will highlight you i will synthesize you the various type of publication avenues in my first part of the session and my second part of the session is uh, what are the what are the journals or the top quality accredited journals looking for when it comes to publication so this is the this is the objective of my session that i am going to conduct uh, my humble request will be to uh, you ask me questions uh any time you can stop me and ask the question uh it will be great if we have an interactive session if we will have interactive session we can keep on going if you don't have interaction and it is one way traffic that is i am speaking you are listening then even a 8 hour lecture will finish in 2 hours right because there will be no response so that is that is the disadvantage of not asking the question or not interacting so it will be great if you interact with me um there may be some internet issues uh, sometimes in between so please bear with that i will I, although i have tried to uh, ensure that the internet connectivity problem should not come but still if in between i am disconnected or something like that i will relog in again and i will continue so uh, i don't think we we should have much technical glitches but Uh, you can't say about technical glitches when it comes when it will come so this is my agenda right so this is this is my agenda which 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 i have just given you an overview that what i am going to cover what i am going to talk uh, i will show you some websites i will show you some uh, list of journals <clears throat> i will show you the avenues where you can publish and so on and so forth uh, this is a financial analytics mdp and uh, i also belong to the area of finance and accounting definitely most of my examples will come from this area of finance and accounting but still if you have any questions which are related to areas other than finance and accounting uh, please feel free to ask me i will try to answer that but definitely the concentration will be on finance right so any 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 reflection any before i move ahead anything if you have anything you want to ask any questions you have any any participant can have any question you can write in chat box you can ask me right but right okay so you can ask me in between whenever you, you whenever you feel free uh, i have some limited resources today so i will use the ppt uh, but uh, in ppt rather than writing with pen which i normally use maybe i will type today okay so just keep that in mind but still still if you have you can ask me right so let me start with i hope you are able to see my screen yes sir we can see your screen yes right so the the first thing which i wish to cover is what are what do you i, I at any place if you are not able to see my screen or something please feel free to ask okay so because what is a quality what is a quality or category publication this is the first thing that you have to answer what is a quality or a category publication now when it comes to quality or category publication uh there are various things which you have to keep in mind like so so in india we have a list called as ugc list right then this is as far as india is concerned so in india in india there is a ugc list now the first question you need to answer is is this list All the all the journals in this list, all the all the journals in this list, 
all the journals in this list are they category publication now this is the first question you have to answer so unfortunately the answer is no not all the publication not all the journals in ugc list are category publication right uh these journals will these journals will uh, give you the give you the objective of or this journal will fulfill the objective of your university related performance appraisals or it will fulfill the guidelines of ugc or it will fulfill the it will fulfill the requirement that you have for your promotion in ugc if you are at government college or private college anywhere but uh not all the journals in this list are category publication right then why this list the question you may there may be a question which may pop up at in your mind that then why this list this list is because we are i am not saying that this list is good or bad please don't 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 treat me don't mistake me by listening to that that i am saying that this list is not good it's not like that it's the starting point if you are new in research the first thing you have to do is at, at least to start writing and when you start writing you cannot directly reach out to the highest quality journal you have to go go, go step by step so one or two publications in lower category journal then in middle category journal then in higher category journal then in top category journal and so on and so So you just say list all the journals in this list are are the category publication. So my answer here is no. So basically the answer is no. The the answer will be no, right? So all the journals in this list are not category publication. So what is a category publication? When you just say list is not there, then what is a category publication? Now here the important point starts. Here you have to understand that. what exactly is meant by the category publication so when i say that what is a category publication there are various institutes there are various institutes autonomous bodies autonomous bodies associations publish association which publishes the list which publishes the list so there is a list of journals there is a list of journals there is a list of journals which are published by which are published by various institutes various associations various autonomous bodies right so they will issue a list right based on various factors right one of the important factor is citation right so the journal which has high citation will have high impact factor i will come to that at the later part so various institute autonomous bodies association will publish the list they will publish the list so there is a list of journal so in india in india what is categorized so i will talk about both in india and globally and globally which list is followed which list is followed number 1 and which journals and which are categorized as category then if the journal is if the journal is not in any list then what there are various questions that you will come right now this is the this is the this is the first thing you should know when it comes to quality publication without knowing this without understanding this that what is a what is a, what is a quality journal what is a quality list what is a category list what type of journals are categorized as the top journals of the world it is impossible for you to publish in good quality journal because this is the starting point you have to understand that okay uh, you know uh, you have to understand that <coughs> i am i am doing a publication i will be doing the publication and uh, i have to search for the list i have to search for a category journal then uh, depending on my interest area depending on my 
depending on my domain, depending on my research area, depending on my research interest, I have to identify a journal, right? And there, and there is a huge list of journals. It's not easy to identify the journal also. You have to identify the journal also. So what is a category journal? What is a category journal, right? Now coming to what is a category journal? Just, just, just give me one minute. Huh? I'll just, just give me one minute. Right, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Right, so uh, what I was talking about is that what is a category journal? Now, when I'm talking about what is a category journal, so let me start writing something about category journal. This is what I, I am showing you. This is what I'm showing. Which list is followed? Now, Depending on your research interest, depending upon your, depending upon the various factors and depending upon what type of, depending upon what type of publication you want to do, depending upon what type of, public, what type of journal you are interested into, depending upon what, what is the area you are interested into, you have to identify the journal. And then based on that identification of journal, you have to publish. So which are the various lists? Let me start this with the category journal list. Category journal list. Category journal list. Now, when I say the category journal list, what exactly we mean by category journal list and which list? So this list, which I will be sharing, the publication, which I will be talking, this list and publication are applicable across the world, across the world, not only in India, but this list or this publication are applicable across India. So one of the most important, one of the most important source of journal we use in India is called as Web of Science. Opus indexed. Opus indexed journal. NIRF ranking in India follows this. NIRF ranking in India follows this. I hope you are able to see my screen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are able to see your screen. Right. Yes, sir. Right, right, right. Now, one of the most important source of journal is Web of Science or Scopus Index Journal. 
Now, when it comes to NIRF ranking of India, that is the National Institute Research Framework, uh, Rating Frameworks, where the NIRF Ministry of HRD is giving the ranking to the institutes, they are following the concept of Scopus Indexed Journal. The next is one of the another important list, which is called as ABDC Journal List. We call them as Australian Business Deans Council List. ABDC Journal List is the most used list across the world, including India. All the top institutes in India, including IIM, IITs, top private institutes, some top universities, they are using this list, which is called as ABDC Journal List, Australian Business Deans Council List. I will show you this list after two, three minutes. This list, this list segregates the journal as in, in, in four categories, four categories, four categories. So there is a star category, then they have A category, they have B category and they have C category. A star, A, B and C. Four categories of journal. A star is the highest and C is the lowest. Uh, the whole list consists of around 4,000 journals. Around 4,000 journals are there in this list. Uh, in which, uh, again, some A star will be 200. A will be somewhere around, uh, A star will be 100. A will be somewhere around 250. B will be somewhere around 700, 800. And C will be somewhere around remaining that is more than 2,500 to 3,000 journals. Then you have a list called as ABS, ABS list. ABS list, Association of Business School list, right? They also have four categories of journal. They also have four categories of journal and they classify as one, two, three, four. But I will write as 4, 3, 2, 1. That will be better. Four categories of journal. 4, 3, 2, 1. ABS list. 4, 3, 2, 1. 4 is the highest. There may be some journal which is there in ABDC list as A star. And there may be a possibility that the journal is not there in ABS list. So these possibilities are there. This possibility is there. Right, so we have to keep this in mind, ABS list. Then there is there is another list which 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 we have that is called as journal by institutes, journal by institutes, which are not there in the list. Like for example, IIM Ahmedabad, they have a journal called as Bikal. This is not there in any list. Right, it is Sage publication. There is a journal by IIM Calcutta, which is called as Decision. This is also not there in any list. This is also Sage publication. So there may be some journals which are issued by the institutes. I have given here the institutes, the journals which are issued by institutes in India. But there are journals which are issued across the world by various institutes. They may fall in some category, they may not fall in some category, both the possibilities are there. They may fall in some category, they may not fall in some category, both the possibilities or both the probabilities are there. We have to keep that in mind. Then we have journal by publishers. There are various top publishers, like there is an Emerald Publishers, there is a Wiley Publisher, right? There is a there is another Wiley Blackwell. There is Wiley Blackwell Publisher. I hope you are able to see my screen. If you are not able to see my screen, please let me know. Let me go on the other screen. Yes, the screen is visible very much. Yes, sir. Journal by the Emerald is there. Wiley is there. Wiley Blackwell is there. Elsevier is there. Sage Publishers is there. Emeralds, Wiley, Wiley Blackwell, Elsevier, Sage Publishers. There are various publishers, right? Um, these are these are prominent publishers. There may be a possibility that uh, uh, so like Emerald, so Emerald is Emerald is you know uh, is 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 publishing more than say 1,200 journals. So when Emerald is publishing more than 1,000 or 1,200 journals, uh, there may be a possibility 
that some of the journals are listed in some category list, but some of the journals are not listed in category list. Now, if, if it is not listed, will it be called as a categorized journal? Now, this is a million dollar question. Why this is a million dollar question? Because some institutes across the world follow the list. This is that if the journal is available in the list, we will take that into consideration. If the journal is not there into the list, we will not take that into consideration. Institutes in India, they will take into consideration the journal published by top institutes, whether it is listed or not listed. So if you have a publication in Vikalp, it will be considered as a category publication because it is issued by one of the top institutes in the country, right? Similarly, decision, which is, which is, which is published by IM Calcutta and Sage. So whether it is, whether it is written in the, whether it is mentioned in the list or not, it doesn't make any difference in India. We will consider that as a category publication, but whether globally, this will be considered as a category publication or not. This depends on the institute you are applying or this institute or the, or the place where you are trying to approach for, for classifying them as a, now why they are not in the list that, that, that question is irrelevant actually, if somebody has that question in the mind. Now, these are the category list. Let me, let me show you. And then finally, there is, there is one more important here. Other than this publishers, there is one more other than this publishers. And, and that is, we call it as FT 50 journals, FT 50 journal list. This is topmost. So if you have one publication in FT 50 journal list, uh, you are as equal as a Nobel laureate. It is, it is, it is, it is a top, top, top quality journals list of top 50 journals of the world. Now there are some journals which are, which are uh, in FT 50 also a star in ABDC and four in ABS, right? Everywhere they are top, but there are some journals which are there in ABDC list, but in B category in ABDC list, right? So whichever is giving the higher rating that is considered in the literature, in the, in the research domain. So we consider basically that part, which is, which is, uh, which is higher side. So which list to be followed, which list not to be followed is decided by the Institute. But whatever I have written in these two slides, web of science, ABDC list, ABS list, journal of Institute, journal by publishers, FT 50 journal list. These lists are followed by majority of the institutes across the world jointly together standalone and there will be hardly a variation of four or five percent journals that means if there is a list of around four thousand journals you will not find more than 50 journals it is less than two percent somewhere around less than one two per, one and a half two percent journals which will which will not fall in any of the category right so right so uh, like i can say that this abdc journal and abs uh, there are 90% journals which are common in both APDC and ABS. So there will be 10% journals which are there in ABDC and 10% which are, uh, and those journals are not there in ABS. There will be some journals which are in ABS, but they are not in APDC. So this possibility is definitely there. So that you have to, that you have to keep in mind, right? Any questions till here? No any participant any participant has any question i think one of the participants uh, wanted to ask some question so please you can ask your query here right now uh, prabhakar sir do you wish to ask anything? Yes, yes. Please go ahead. Good morning, good morning, professor. Good morning. Please tell. Yeah, my question is about uh, so actually, uh, what is the time duration will be taking place to publish an ABDC list of papers? Right. So the time duration which is taken by the journal to publish is depending on which category you are submitting. So if I start from the top, that is, if I start from this top FT fifty. So FT50 will take two and a half to three years. So if I submit the paper today, uh, there, there is a possibility that it will be published after two years. 
when it comes to a star category or category 4 journals of abdc or top quality journals minimum time period that you have to keep in mind ranges from 9 months to 15 months but don't expect that top quality journals especially in higher category of a star and a uh they will uh they will publish early now when it comes to c category and b category journal that is which i am highlighting here on my slides b c category or 2 1 category journal here there is a possibility there are journals which informs you in 1 1 and a half month also and there are journals which takes around 3 to 6 months time also but please remember that publication in one category journal is equal to many publications in non category journal so if you have one publication or two publications every year even in c category that are regarded as very high credential as far as publication is concerned but time period definitely is there time period definitely is there yes i i forgot to wrote somebody has written taylor and francis so yes it is taylor and francis also is a excellent publication taylor and francis we have in the excellent so taylor and francis definitely is another publisher which have very high quality journals and especially in our area of finance and accounting they have some very high quality or very good journals with them singer of india sir singer sorry singer singer yes springer is also there correct springer is also there springer is also there let me now go to list of journals i hope you are able to see my browser if you will write this abdc journal list here you can see abdc journal quality list australian business deans council right and when you will click this so you will be able to download a excel also so you here it is export full list in excel so i'm just downloading this list you can see here there is a excel file which has been downloaded i'm just opening it now you can see here this is the i hope you are able to see my excel sheet and here you can see yes sir there is a there is a list which is given there is a list which is given so i'll just delete this issn number and issn online and website and let me delete this field of rating also so here you can see the rating is given here i hope you are able to see i have highlighted them in red right so there are and you can see if you go down and down and down so at present they have around 2680 journals which are listed which are classified and you can see here the name of publisher is given here and and this is one of the most difficult task when you write the quality research paper identification of journal which where you will be publishing is one of the most difficult task in in publication in quality publication and if you are not able to identify the journal <clears throat> if you are not able to identify the journal properly if you are not able to your paper will be is bound to reject even if you have done good work that means you have to find that the type of study that you have done suits to the type of journal which you are interested in publication that means they publish that type of study if they are not publishing that type of study then there is no point there is no point in 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 submitting your paper to that particular journal because then it will be there is the possibility that they will have desk rejection or they will reject the paper they will not send the paper for review and then 
you become least interested in writing these type of papers that what is the point of writing the paper when they are being rejected uh, quite often so this is this is the list which you have to which you have to keep in mind any questions in this list now there is one more important thing which i want to sensitize you and uh, this i always talk in my session there are two type of fee which are charged by the journals there are two type of fee which the journal charges one is called as the submission fee and another is called as the publication fee i repeat one is called as the submission fee another is called as the processing fee or they call it as publication fee journals which charges publication fee i repeat the journals which charges publication fee that means the journal which says that uh, you know we have accepted your paper and now we will publish your paper you pay us this much amount per page or per word whatever even those journals are even those journals are there are are, are there in the category so if you publish in those type of journals that will not be regarded as a quality quality publication there are some journals like this i don't want to name those journals but there is a there is a there is a beams list i will show you that list i hope you are able to see my browser sir uh, we are currently seeing your excel sheet not okay. browser okay 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 i'm just i'm just coming just a sec i'm opening that site yeah yeah i will uh, priya ji i will share this file you can download it also from google but i will share this file also just a sec i am just opening is just opening i just give me one minute please <laughs> not opening i'll just i'm just trying just give me one minute huh, please sir sir sure sir okay it's not opening the site is not opening no problem so i will come back at later stage now uh, there is a list there is a there is a website which tells you that uh, which journals charges the article processing charges now please remember there are various difference in the fee which is charged by the article i repeat if they are asking some 75 dollars or 100 dollars at submission fee that is very well accepted 
and most of the finance and accounting journals across the world are charging this most of the accounting and finance journal across the world especially this category journal they charge some submission fee so at the time of submission they will say submit 50 dollars or 100 dollars and you have to submit that and there is a risk in that because your paper may be accepted or rejected uh, totally it, it can be desk rejected also so nobody cares if it can be rejected immediately and once it is rejected your money is gone you cannot do anything with that so there is a possibility that the paper is rejected on the spot but they charge submission fee submission fee is well accepted across the world there is no problem in submission fee then there is a there is a article there is a article open access fee so when you submit to a journal like elsevier and somebody else wants to read your paper uh, they have to pay a certain fee right somebody else if you are not subscribed say i publish some i have published one paper with wiley and if i go to wiley website uh, i have to pay something to access that paper if i have not subscribed but if i pay wiley some fee and ask them that keep my article as open access that open access fee is very high so some some authors want that their research should be open for all because they want citation if it is open for all they get more citation so they are worried about citations so that is also allowed what is not allowed is what is not allowed is uh, the article processing charges apc we call them as article processing charges you know there are so you, they will charge 2000 rupees or 100 dollars or 10 dollars per page or 20 dollars per page to publish the article such type of article publication such type of journals which accept the article publication charges are not acceptable is not acceptable in the in the management domain that you have to please keep in mind very careful you have to be very careful that the journal which you are publishing whether that journal is what type of journal whether that journal is a pay and publish journal we call them as pay and publish journal right so that you have to keep in mind any questions on this now how to identify the journal any questions Uh, sir, uh, is there any source where we can find it that, uh, you know, where we should not go for publishing? Uh, yeah, yeah. I will show you that source. There is a Veeam website. I will show you that source. That, that source only I am not able to open. Okay. Let, okay. let me let me just try to open again. Because that is the, that is the problem. I am not able to open that. I will just try again once more. Just opening, just give me one minute, please. I hope you are able to see my browser. Yes, now we are, yes. This is called as a Beals list, you know. So you can see here, the first one is coming as Beale's list of potential predatory journals and publishers. Beale's list. Any journal which is, which is a category journal, but is coming under this Beale's list will not be considered as a category journal by top institute across the world. Your journal should not be there in the Beale's list. That is a very basic criteria which most of the management B schools follow across the world. It should not be there in the page list. Sir, can you just share its link in the chat box? Yeah, yeah.
I have also shared the list of journal. Okay, so in the chat box, right? This list of journal also I have shared. Uh, yes, it will come once I once I close that it will come, right? Because it is open, it is not coming. But once I close that, it will come. Yes, sir. So, yes. So Beal's list. So you have to take that into consideration. Now, if you will see that list, if you will see this list, there are very very good journals which are there, which publishes the research from India also, right? So if you are a new, if you are a, uh, if you are a, a new public, a new researcher, and you have uh, you know, uh, you are you are in the stage of you are in the stage of uh, writing the research paper for the first time you have just started you are trying to publish for the first time you have written but not in category journal then the best source to start is which i have written here in my i hope you are uh, i don't know whether you are able to see my excel sheet or not i hope you are able to see my excel sheet so you can now see can, i have written yes. here uh, i have written here inter science Inter science. So there are many journals of inter science, uh, which are category journals, and uh, they 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 uh, definitely most of them are in C category, right? So you can see here the African Journal of Accounting, Auditing, and Finance, inter price, inter science. Then again, African Journal again inter science, Afro Asian Journal of Finance and Accounting, inter science C category. Then American Journal of Finance and Accounting Inter Science Publishers, then Global Business and Economic Review, and all these are C category. You will be seeing Interdisciplinary Environmental Review Inter Science C category, right? So then you can see International Journal of Accounting and Finance Inter Science, then again International Journal of Accounting Auditing and Performance Evaluation Inter Science. There are many many journals of Inter Science which you can try if you are a new researcher. If you are a new researcher, uh, the advantage with inter science is that uh, most of those journals are C category journals. Most of those journals are C category journals. Number one, uh, the processing time is slightly fast as compared to the other journals. And to begin with and to start with, they are excellent. That does not mean that you can publish any trash there. There has to be some quality because these are category journal. But the only thing, the only advantage that you will get is. That there is a, there is a, a pro, this, the process will be speed up. There will be, uh, the, the, there will be a speed up in process or processing time or publication time will be less. Then we have some some journals which are published by Indian. So I have written here. So you can see here, this is a journal of Indian Institute of Finance. I hope you are able to see. This is a list of it. I have highlighted. Indian Institute of Finance. It's a very good journal. Again, it is a C category journal. Now they publish studies which belongs to India. Then there is another journal. You can see Journal of Commerce and Accounting Research, India Publishing. Then there is another journal which you will find here. You can see Journal of Financial Management and Analysis, Om Sai Ram Center of Financial Management. This is again an Indian publication. Then you can see this is a very good journal of efforts, Journal of Indian Business Research. It's a very, very good journal. Now the publisher also is a very known publisher, Emirates. Right? It's a, it's a very good journal, although it is a C category, but it's a very good journal. Right? Again, if I go to point next, then you can see another journal, it is Indiana University Press. Here you can see Finance India. You must have heard about this journal. There are a lot of LinkedIn articles or various type of stuff which comes which we call it as Finance India, Indian Institute of Finance. Then we have another journal, you know, let me find another one, right? Finance India, Indian Institute, here in Indian Economic Journal, Sage Publication, B category journal, you can see Indian Economic Journal, B category journal. Then Indian Economic Review, University of Delhi School of Economics, C category journal. Indian Growth and Development Review, B category journal. Definitely you are finding Indian Journal of Corporate Governance, Sage Publication. This is another very good journal to publish. So you will find, you will find that there are around 10 to 12 journals which are published by, which are published keeping in mind India, which are keeping, which are published keeping in mind India. So inter science and Indian journals should be the two target first if you are a new researcher so that uh, you can start publishing and you can start writing. Any questions today?
any questions any doubts any clarification okay now this is the uh, abdc list which i have shared with you i am i am just uh, closing this list i am just closing this list i have shared this list in your chat box so so students who have asked for this list can download from the chat box now coming back to the the ppt which i was using and i was making the notes here you can see so this is what i have shown you so abdc journal list similarly uh, i don't want to spend much time but whenever you get time you can you can go to the website you can sorry just a sec you can go to the website here you will find abs journal list abs journal list here you can see abs journal list right so every 3 years it comes so the last list was there in 2018 so here you can see i hope you are able to see my browser so here is the list of academic journal and here you can see it is four star or four is they are giving so four star or four is same right so four star or four is basically same there is no difference in four star or four so you can see there are journals with four then three two and then journals with one so this is another type of list so this list I, as i said at the start of the session when i started this show, showing you this list that it is not necessary that one journal will come in one list and the same journal should come in other list right then you have web of science web of science master journal list web of science master journal list right so nirf ranking as i said follow this so you you try to search journal from this whether it is coming so let me say international review of finance so here you can see it comes so international review of finance right so social science citation index and so on it is given here web of science score collection so it is there in this list exact match found it is there in that list let me see whether the vikalp is there or not v i k a vikalp right so you can just keep on searching there is no so vikalp is not there in the list right this i am am the part let me see decision decision so this is not the i am calcutta decision right so this is not the i am calcutta one let me just share this journal let us see copy link and let us see Right, so it is not opening, but but you can see whether this decision is that decision or not based on the ISS number. But there is a journal which is listed here, right? So this is Web of Science, right? So Web of Science, clear, right? So this is the list which is followed by uh, NIRF ranking for NIRF ranking in India. So Web of Science list is there. Then, as I said, this is the top list, FT fifty journal list. This is the top most. ft 50 journal list 50 journals used in ft research framework so here you can see 50 journals used in ft research rank and here you can see now these are alphabetical and then i will come that out of this if i want to say that which is the best journal out of this 50 also i can do that also i will show you how so academy of management journal academy of management review accounting organization and society this 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 harvard business review there are a lot of journal there are a lot of journal let us see this journal of finance right journal of finance is one of the 
टॉप रेटेड जर्नल इन दी फाइनेंस एरिया दिस इज जर्नल ऑफ फाइव इंपैक्ट फैक्टर एंड हियर यू कैन सी इन 2018 इन दी इंपैक्ट फैक्टर ऑफ जर्नल ऑफ फाइनेंस इज 6.2 you will keep on getting the mail you know you there are several times when you will receive the mail that uh, the impact factor is 10 the impact factor is 12 the impact factor is 14 please don't trust on those impact factors those are fraud impact factor is not a easy thing just imagine this is the top journal of the world top journal journal of finance is the top journal of the world every finance professor around the world dreams to publish in this not everybody's dream comes true in last 50 60 years of indian history there is only one paper which has been published by indian professor in journal of finance you can imagine the that the uh, that how tough and the impact factor is only 6.20 so it's not easy it's not easy so please please be careful with the impact factor please be careful with the impact factor impact factor are disguised impact factor are manipulated badly impact factor is the most critical element of identifying a journal whether that journal is falling in the category list or not so please keep that in mind that whether the journal is a quality journal or not so out of this ft50 also so as i said journal of finance let me see some other journal journal of financial economics this is another very good journal so journal financial economics impact factor and here you can see it is coming as 5.162 5.162 out of this 50 journals one of the top journals which is assumed is academy of management journal right academy of management journal let me see academy of management journal impact factor yeah you can see 7.191 more than the journal of finance another top journal is management science journal there is a journal called as management science management science top quality journal what is the impact factor management science journal impact factor you can see 4.219 this is a top quality journal so what i'm trying to show you is that what see it is it is uh, uh, when you are trying to publish when you are interested in publication one of the most important thing that you have to keep in mind is that which journal i am publishing where i am publishing what type of publication i am trying to do what is the if i am if i am submitting a uh, my work or submitting my paper in a particular journal what is the type of what is the type of submission that i am doing where i am doing whether that journal is accepting that or not whether that journal is a category journal or not whether that journal is a quality journal or not i am not saying that if you publish in c then you are not a good researcher right most of my publications are in b and c category i have hardly three four publications in a category because a, a, a category publication takes lot of time i don't have any publication in a star category i don't have any publication in ft category definitely it's my dream that i publish in ft category or a star category but but every time i submit in a star it gets rejected and that ultimately we submit it to a and so on this process goes on but we have a we have a faith or we have a belief that there will be one day when we will be able to publish in a a star category journal or a, or a abs 4 category journal or a ft 50 category journal if we are not able to publish fine so if you are publishing in a c category or b category that does not mean that you are a inferior researcher you are a good researcher that is why at least there is some level your there is some level your acceptability has been done there is something which you are doing concrete otherwise you will not be able to publish in category journal at all any questions till here any questions on impact factor any questions on uh, uh, category journal list any questions on uh, uh, identification of journal how you identify the journal any 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 types of questions when it comes to quality or category classification please feel free to ask
any type of doubts clarifications confusion you have any type of question you have please ask i want to ask one thing uh, hmm. that which is more important impact factor or the category of the journals uh like which see, thing one should look impact factor or? high impact factor means high impact factor means people are citing your study now you know in 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 us most of the universities most of the universities they they give weightage to citations how many citations you have so that means they will publish in that journals which have high impact factor rather than category i'll show you one journal and let me see that what is the impact factor of that journal So there is a journal called as Journal of Business Ethics. So here you can see the Journal of Business Ethics has an impact factor of four point one four. Now this is as far as ABDC list is concerned, this is a B category paper. It is not A star or A, but it is in FT fifty journal list. Here we can see Journal of Business Ethics somewhere. It will be there. Here it is, Journal of Business Ethics. So it is there in FT fifty list, but when it comes to ABDC category, it is B. You, it is not A star or A. So does that mean that because ABDC is saying that this is a not a good journal as compared to their list, uh, it is not a good journal? But FT fifty says that it is a good journal. It is there in their list. The impact factor is four point one four. So there are authors who who give preference to submit Journal of Business Ethics rather than the ABDC category. so that is a choice basically that depends on the type of institution unfortunately in india we give less weightage to citations so in india people people mostly people will try to publish in category journal rather than getting published in uh, uh, high impact factor journals that is a that is a choice which indians are doing because in india institutes mostly give weightage to category publication rather than impact factor any other questions to anyone any other doubts questions clarifications to anyone now uh one of the questions that you have to answer is that how i identify that uh, what are the now one of the things which you have to keep in mind in research is that uh you have learned lot of analytical techniques in last one week in last 5 days now applying this techniques theoretically is a very very challenging task it's a very challenging task it's not easy task you have to identify a problem you have to identify a research gap on the basis of existing studies and then once you identify the gap then you collect the data you analyze using the techniques that you have learned once you analyze the techniques once you collect the data and then you write your results and everything bring it into the format of research paper and then you try to publish it so what is the problem here what is the challenge here the problem here or the challenge here is how to identify that what is the topic of interest which is being published by the journal across the world not every not every journal will publish everything as i said at the start of the session every journal will not publish everything right every there will be some journal which is which will publish only some limited type of studies and every journal has this characteristics how you how you find out you have to go to that journal's website see the website see the type of papers being published last 50 60 100 papers which have been published and then you can see that whether that particular uh whether that particular topic based on this those publications or those studies are published that suits you or not that that you have to choose that is your choice now how do the problem which is which comes is that how to identify the contemporary topic that is what are the topic of interest so this is one of the very important thing now so i always whenever i take this session to give you an idea about how to 
uh, you know how i can find out that what are the topic of interest what are the contemporary topics which are which are at present uh, popular across the world so what are the i hope you are able to see my whiteboard so what are the yes, what are the contemporary topics what are the contemporary topics which are given weightage by the publishers or the journals now one of the so you have to find out the contemporary topics and based on your interest right based on your interest now you can find out the contemporary topics you can see the various list of contemporary topics and then you can choose out of them that yes this is the work which i am interested in this is my area and i can do something in this that is a, that, that is how you have to choose how to find out this one is the conferences teams of conferences teams of conferences i will show you where you can top quality conference where they comes then you have call for papers from various publishers this is available on the publishers website call for papers from various publishers and then definitely uh, the news media news media Harvard Business School says discussion between professors. I don't know how much this happens in India, but Harvard says that the research idea only comes when there is a discussion between professors. So two professors or four professors will sit together, and they will keep on talking, and at the end of the day, they will come up with certain solution. They will come up with certain problem. Right? These are some problems. how to find out the latest conferences now this is a big question you know now again i am talking about the conferences which are globally recognized conferences uh, i'm sorry to say that there are every every today tomorrow there is a, there is a conference which is happening in india every institute is organizing a conference i i don't want to comment anything on that but then conferences are a great place to learn irrespective of the type of conference you may get an idea you may get a you may get a you may get a problem you may get a uh, some so something which you think that this is this is new and this is contemporary and this is of my interest so conference is a great place to learn what we prefer what what global global scholars will prefer and i am showing you that website now i hope you are able to see my browser so you can go to ssrn social science research network ssrn now this is one of the one of the prime sources of various type of announcements this is the prime sources and you can see here there is a so here i am just coming down here you can see new networks nursing and research discipline applied sciences recent announcement blah 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 there there are a lot of things which will come here there are a lot of things ssrn this is a great source for two things one is conferences another is call for papers conferences and call for papers so let me just go to uh here you can see research discipline community or i'll directly write in google ssrn finance research network ssrn and here you can see financial ssrn and here so they have a announcement and then financial and economics network and then there are recent papers and here you can see conference oh sorry here you can see professional announcements professional announcements and here you can see in professional announcement call for papers call for papers of competition call for papers of journals and books call for applications for academic award fellowship grants if you want to receive journals and books of interest call of authors other announcement and so on 
and you will find that there are a lot of information which are available in this particular website. Just give me one minute. Just, just give me one minute. There is some technique. Right. Okay. Now you can see here, these are the, these are the various type of conference announcements, which are happening. So you can just go to anyone and then here you can see on the left hand side, these are various. So there is accounting research network, biology, whatever business history and nonprofit organization, computer science, corporate governance. And these are different, different type of announcement that will happen that will, that, that they will do. Right. So say, for example, uh, uh, I want to see that what is the announcement in accounting. So I will click on accounting and here you can see there are various types and then I will go to professional announcement in accounting. And here you can see call for papers and conferences, accounting research conference. This is a very good conference. This is in Hyderabad, India. And if you see, so what I'm trying to show here. So this is an ISB, Paper Submission Procedures, Past Conference. And then if you want for more information, uh, this is this is the past conference. And here you can see what type of preference they will give. Papers in all areas of accounting are welcome, although preference will be given to papers relating to emerging markets, both theoretical and empirical papers will be considered. So now you get an idea that what type of papers they will accept. This is a, another very good conference, Hawaii Accounting Research Conference. Now, if you see this accounting, uh, Hawaii Accounting, these are the topics that they are giving. Now, these are the contemporary topics. So what I want to show you from this website is that when you go to these international high quality international conferences, you will be able to identify or you will be able to find that what type of what type of contemporary topics are at present prevailing in the market or, or, or the demand is there for publication. So you can see here that these are the topics. Some are the regular topics, some are the topics which are of contemporary nature, right? So some are very new, some are the topics like, you know, this earnings management. This is, this is the topic in accounting, which is prevailing since last 40 years. Right. So what I'm trying to show with this example is that how you how you can find out how you can find out where to publish, when to publish, how to publish. You, you will at least get an idea of the topics. You will at least get an idea of the topic. Now, another source, another source of from where is what we call it as publishers website. So let me go to this publisher Emeralds, right? The Emerald. And on this, and if you will write Emerald call for papers here, you can see Emerald publishing call for papers. Now, this is a, this is a excellent source for me. Let me tell you, because this Emerald at least publishes more than every, every three months, they will, they will come up with at least 50 special issue of journals of top quality, which are both on all three categories. That is ABC category. And uh, based on that ABC category, you can very easily, you can very easily find out that what are your interests. So see, for example, filter by category, I say business management and strategy. And here you can see there are various journals which are coming. 
and here th th this uh, in the bottom there is name of the journal and all this and you can find it out now if i want to find out that whether this is a category journal or not i can go to the list and i can find out whether this is a category journal or not and then there are topics which are given there are topics innovation and business strategies there are topics which are given on the family business and tourism and hospitality entrepreneurship activities managing cyber conflicts behavioral strategies covid entrepreneurship and public policy post business and green innovation socially responsible marketing for a welfare society action research lot of papers lot of journals are there accounting journals are there finance journals are there you can see th there is a huge list of journals and every day it is updated every day so you can visit daily on this website and you can find out that whether what are the topics and and then and here you can see the impact of covid 19 crisis on financial markets journal of indian business research startup innovation and venturing journal of indian business research so there are two special issue of journal business of indian business research is coming which is startups innovation and venturing and the impact of covid 19 crisis on financial markets if you can understand this if you can go through this if, now suppose i click this impact of covid 19 crisis on financial markets a special issue in partnership with kj sumaya dr pankaj trivedi shashi talwar and this about this and then here you can see the the theme of the conference potential areas of focus includes this and then they have given you the open for submission open deadline is may 31st still you have two months and and it's not very difficult to write a paper on the impact of covid 19 on the financial markets of india you can take anything impact on mutual funds impact on foreign institutional investors impact on this impact on share market impact on gold market anything you can take and you can see that you know uh, and, and you have two months and this is a category journal it's a, it's a very good journal the publisher is of high repute and the journal is of india the institute is of india who is publishing this special issue you will definitely get an advantage of publishing this is how you have to search for quality journals this is how you have to search for contemporary topics and this is how you have to take, keep that in mind that how I can publish the quality journals, how I can publish in quality journals. So any questions till here, please ask. Any doubts, any questions to any participant? Any, any clarification is required on whatever I have said. any 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 perspective any reflection you have anything you want to add in whatever i have said uh sir uh, i am having one question sir what is your take on conceptual journals and when it comes to like in indian scenario and in like uh, when it comes to foreign publishing see unfortunately uh, unless and until in your conceptual paper there is something new which you are adding to the theory, it will not be published in a quality journal. What has been the trend over last a uh, number of years or at least last 8-10 years is that the journal actually invites some top professors to write the conceptual paper. So these days the conceptual papers have become by invitation. But that does not mean that I'm saying that it cannot be published. If there is something new, if there is something innovative you are writing, there are journals which gives preference to that. But, but then it has to be a high quality writing that I am coming to the second part. It has to be a high quality writing, the writing skills. There has to be some contribution to the theory, right? Uh, you will not find, and, 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 and I, have, uh, I have to say that you will not find much Indians have written conceptual papers. In, in top quality journals. Most of the Indians are doing empirical studies. So they are good in mathematics. They are good in statistical modeling. So they identify the problem, apply those statistical modeling and, and mathematical modeling or econometric modeling in the problem. And then they come up with a solution. So most of the studies are empirical studies which are done by Indians. This is, this is, this is there. But, but yes, uh, conceptual studies, there are journals like, you know, there is a journal of FT50 accounting organization and society. They publish conceptual papers. So it's not there that publication of a publication of uh, is not possible. 
but then we have to keep that in mind that uh, how we can publish that whether we have that capability or not okay so uh, i will have a very small break of 9 minutes i will again start at 11:35 okay fine sir fine sir so i will not take a long break of half an hour i will just take a break of 9 minutes because we are attending online i don't think you can definitely have a cup of tea coffee bring on your table and you can have that so i will start at 11:35 sharp okay yes, yes. Sure. So participants, we are having a quick uh, tea break for uh, nine minutes, as Sir said, and we'll resume the session sharp at eleven thirty-five. And participants, uh, the link for uh, feedback for session one is already being floated in the WhatsApp group. So fill this feedback form on time.
yes sir we can resume our session sir you have to unmute yourself okay the second part of my session is i am concentrating on uh, how to write a quality paper what are the various factors that you have to keep in mind so that you can publish in category journals now these are some general factors plus these are some specific factors you would have listened this from uh, many many speakers or something like that but again uh, there is nothing wrong in uh, uh, knowing something or or uh, getting something repeated uh, repeated learning because research is all about practice practice and practice so uh, how to write a scientific publication basically so we 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 basically when we write the accounting and finance paper we we call ourselves as uh, we call ourselves as social science researchers right so we are doing research in social science now what are the various factors that you have to keep in mind so the purpose of uh, this this particular session uh, uh, whatever time we have with so i will just help you in guiding so the first point is a very important point which is written here the importance of topic selection right so you have identified you have identified that which journal you will publish what type of paper you will publish you have written something but then the key is selecting the topic let me tell you if you have a very catchy topic your paper will definitely go for review your paper will definitely go for review. the ultimate objective the ultimate objective you should have is whenever you submit the paper to a quality journal whenever you submit the paper to a quality journal your ultimate objective should be that at least it should go for at least it should go for review it should not be desk rejected right so the two important things that you have to keep in mind so that your paper is not desk rejected so one of the things that you have to keep in mind for not getting desk rejection is the topic selection you should have a very catchy topic and the second is your abstract abstract so 50% of your studies which goes in review process takes two things into consideration the topic and abstract we will discuss this further also then the importance of writing papers in high quality journals theoretically we have to remember this that what is the importance of writing papers in high quality journals uh, it is like publish or perish when it comes to when it comes to when it comes to academic studies when it comes to academic studies what you have to keep in mind is that you will be you will be known as a acclaimed academician only if you have done some publication in quality journals if you have not done the publication in quality journals it will be very difficult for you to be known as a acclaimed academician you can be happy that i am teaching good i am at a good institute but unless and until you you write something and that writing is cited by the various other academicians you will be it is research is all about self it is it is about self you know it is self generated activity it is self motivated activity as i said in the start of the session that you may publish sorry as i said at the start of the session that you may publish in ugc accredited journals which ugc approves but they are not coming in the list but then the problem you will have is that it is only for the purpose of your academic progression that you are doing that 
it is not for the purpose of uh, knowing yourself as an acclaimed academician. And then the third point is an important point. So I will explain the main points that need to be addressed in each of the major sections commonly found in scholarly papers. So this is a comprehensive PPT. This PPT will be shared with you. So no need to worry for that. I have already shared with the Institute and they will share it with you. And uh, uh, there are a lot of things which are written in this PPT. I will definitely, I will not discuss all whatever is written in this PPT. But I will try to give you an idea that what are the important elements which are, which are considered by the top academic journals when, when you are submitting your work with them. So why it is important to select a good research topic? So the first thing you have to remember is, and I'm, I'm not, now I'm coming to the second part. So when I say the second part means I, I believe that uh, you have already selected a work that you want to do. Topic sabse akhari mein hota hai. Please remember, once your paper is finalized and you have read the paper 100 times, you have made all the changes, everything has been done, and then you will select a topic. Topic is the last thing you have to do before submission. So there are two things which you have to do before submission, topic and abstract. So topic is the last thing. Even abstract comes before the topic. So topic is the last thing, right? So abstract and topic. And there are, and, and there are, and there are journals which says that abstract should be only of 100 pages, 100 words, only 100 words. And if you will keep, if you will write 100 words, you will find that 100 words are hardly six to seven lines. So that means even if you have written a paper of 50 pages, even if you have written a paper of 50 pages, your abstract should be only of a small paragraph. So that you have to keep in mind. So topic and abstract are the last. So why it is important to select a good research topic? And that is what is the answer to this. A good topic is a key for international publication. Please remember that that a good topic is a key for international publication. Your international publication uh, will give very high weightage to a good, will give a very high weightage to a good topic. Please take that into mind. If you don't have the, if you don't have the good topic, if you will not have the good topic, uh, most of the times, most of the times, uh, um, your, your, your study is rejected just by reading the topic or reading the abstract. So that you have to keep in mind. Although you write your paper very well, if the topic is not good, your effort will be useless. So the point is really, is very clearly mentioned in this point. Here you can see that there is a very clear mention in this point that you are writing your paper very well. You are writing your paper very well. The content of your paper is excellent. The flow of your paper is excellent. The findings of your paper is excellent. The gap which you have identified is excellent. The models which you have prepared is excellent. But then what is lacking is topic and abstract. And if your topic and abstract are missing, there are very high chances that the paper will be rejected. So what is so what are the good, good ways to finalize the topic? Ask your colleagues. Read yourself that whether it is whether it is uh, uh, whether it is giving you a good feeling or not, whether it is giving you advantage or not, and so on and so forth. So, what should we do to get inside a good topic? So, what we should do? So, read, read, and read. So there is no shortcut to this. Please remember, you can write a good research paper only if you are reading. No researcher can in the world can, can, can write a research paper without reading. And if you are writing research paper without reading, that means the, 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 the type of research that you are writing or the type of papers that will be played. The type of research paper which you are writing and the type of paper that you will be publishing will be of no use. Will be of no use. So ultimately what you have to keep in mind Ultimately, you have to keep in mind that you have read at least, you know, when we write a paper on a particular topic, the normal literature review that we do is, is close to 300 to 600 papers. And then we read the topic, then we read the abstract, then we read the content, 
once we read the topic once we read the abstract once once we read the content then we decide that which paper to be published and which paper not to be published which paper to be published and which paper not to be published so that is an important element that we have to keep in mind while doing the topic selection or abstract selection abstract i am also coming at the later part this i have just shown you this i have just shown you no good journals and conferences in your research area this i have already shown you so uh, you will be able to find a good topic or good research paper only if you know that what are the good journals if you know what are the good journals and if you know what are the top conferences in your particular area say for example in my research area so i should know what are the top accounting conferences what are the top conferences what are the top journals what are the peer reviewed edited book journals that have been called for and so on and so forth so unless and until we unless and until unless and until i know unless and until i know that what type of papers will be published and what type of papers will be required so i should know what are the top conferences i should know what are the top publications i should know what are the various type of requirements that will be done based on this so what are the various criteria for a good research topic so you know there is a there is a study which has been done this is taken from a research study of pule et al and we we call this as finer so there is a finer concept of topic selection there is a finer concept of topic selection so what is this finer feasible that means this topic is appropriate this can be done it is interesting right it will take into consideration it is up to date and it will take into consideration the wider audience it should be novel right that means there is it is it should be new it should be contemporary it should be new it should be contemporary it should be new it should be contemporary one of the most important thing in your research topic it should be that it should be ethical there has to be some ethical there has to be some ethical you know um, one of the things which we should keep in mind is plagiarism right so plagiarism is a serious issue in research these days so we have to keep this in mind that there is no plagiarism there is nothing which we are taking into consideration we are not exactly copying we are not copying anything from the existing published studies we are not we are not copying the topic from the uh, from some source or we are not breaking it should be our own it should be our own that has to be kept in mind and it should be relevant it should has an implication it should be relevant so this is what is a good research topic this is what is a good research topic that you have to select so when you are selecting a a study which you want to do or a paper you want to write this finer you have to keep in mind if you select a research study topic which is right right so there is a difference in topic and title please remember that there is a difference in topic and title topic means the complete study which you are doing title means the title of your study so don't be confused between title and topic topic means the comprehensive work which you want to the detailed study which you want to so that means you have to select a topic which is feasible doable you can do it it is possible to do if it is not possible to do you will be into trouble once you start the work and after uh, after one month two months you realize that uh, this is not doable you will be into again you will be uh it discourages basically 
it gives a it gives a sense of discouragement that oh i have selected a topic which is which is not appropriate or something like that uh, it should have a wider audience right so you know that is why you will find that there are many studies which are done when it comes to stock market gold market financial markets equity markets why because because there, there is some, there is always something new which will which people are finding and it, and it it interest it 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 interest it motivates the people because it it motivates the people why it motivates the people it motivates the people because uh, interest uh, stock market is 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 is, is a in, uh, topic of their choice most people invest in stock market they want to see the trend in stock market they want to forecast something they want to predict something and so on and so forth so the topic should be uh, you know uh, when i say the new topic new topic does not mean that you cannot so you cannot select from the existing studies which are being coming it should interest it should have a interest to the audience so any questions on this final website uh, final uh, model any question anybody has on this final model okay now you know examples of interesting issues in my area so in the previous web, previous slide i wrote that what is the criteria for a good research topic so the criteria for a good research topic is that what are how to identify that what are the interests so that is where i said to you ssrn is the source conference is the source call for papers is the source discussion is the source right newspaper media is the source newspaper oblique media is the source so there can be many sources which will help you that what are the interesting topics which are prevailing in your particular area right so how do you assess so just ignore this chart how do how to assess the novelty of your research how do you say so how do you assess so do systematic literature review now you know uh, this is where the this is where the problem with indian researchers is there there are a lot of problems there are a lot of issues which pops up when it comes to because we 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 don't do a thorough literature review uh literature review is an art and uh, liter and and uh, you know you have to ensure that you when you are writing a research paper when you are writing a quality research paper uh in that quality research paper you are able to identify something new some gap and you think that that gap is new and that if you will address that gap if you will address that gap then it will be beneficial for you to write such type of paper so it is very it is very important that uh, the literature review is done in a very systematic way so one of the key in writing research paper is systematic literature systematic so maybe you know you can go from uh, you can go from uh, the contemporary studies to the previous studies to identify the gap or you can see you can do it vice versa bringing uh, coming from old studies to the new studies that how the gaps were identified how they were built definitely the best sources are the references the best way to do literature review is references when you read a research paper of and you want to identify that what are the related studies related to that particular topic go to the reference and download all those papers and you and and you will find that there are many work which have been cited or which have been referenced referenced in that particular study and you are able to do that so why to do the systematic research review to obtain the state of art paper uh you have to set your position of your work among others and you should not repeat the work of other researcher you should you, you should you should bring something new that is the advantage of literature review so if the appropriate literature review is done if the appropriate literature review is done then you will be able to do something new work rather than copying the work of other now this i always ask the uh, participants to look on themselves i will not discuss much in that so in my previous sessions also i have just asked the participants to go through this so there is a there is a prisma website right so you can go to this prisma statement right and in this prisma 
they have given a checklist of writing a good research paper and this is this is well known although this prisma is predominantly used for papers relating to technology right but i can tell you 90% of the items which are written here will apply to papers of any domain right so what is this prisma basically so this prisma is basically uh, the checklist that what is your paper paper what is the content of your paper right and and, and this is a, this is a paper by prisma group which has been published uh, there was a there was a author uh, author tezief who, who wrote this paper and he has said that uh, you know there is a flow which you have to so you can see identification screening eligibility included whatever so don't go to the technical terms but see the flow so what is the title what is the abstract what is the rational of the paper what is the aur ye sab aapko aata hai all this you know that what should be the flow of the paper rational objective then whether is there any protocol or followed or not right so uh, you know protocol means uh, uh, in what way you have to write the reference if you have used the website how the website should be quoted how the reference has to be given right and and so on so there are there are there are on 2023 method 2023 checklist which is given here you can see 27 factors which are given so if you will if you will see this 27 factors if you will see this 27 factors you will be able to identify the the appropriate uh, structure of your paper so this is basically prisma is the checklist of uh, finding the structure of the paper your paper your paper has to be properly structured if your paper is not properly structured if there is some problem in your paper if there is something which is lacking in your paper if there is some flow which is not available in your paper your paper is bound to be rejected so that you have to keep in mind any participant any question right okay so moving ahead moving ahead what are the other elements that you have to keep in mind so this i have already discussed in the previous class why is it important to publish in high impact journal and i have also said this in this class also so it is uh, publish or perish if you will not publish uh, academically you will perish so to as i said that to make sure that you you are known for an you you are known as an acclaimed academician research is mandatory research is mandatory so there are two things which a which a researcher has to which a academician has to think about researcher he should be a researcher and he should be a academician researcher and teacher these are the two things which qualifies you for your to, to become a acclaimed academician and as i said that uh, research is self motivated uh, you uh, maybe the at present the institute where you are working or the system where you are there is not much weightage given to the research but it will give you self satisfaction it will give you self satisfaction it will give you self motivation that you have done some work and there are people who are acknowledging your work and this is what is the second point when i say that people when people acknowledges your work when your citation increases 
you will feel a you you will feel a sense of contribution to the academic world which you have done and that is a great thing which you can do as a academician by contributing in the in, in such type of activities these are one and the same thing you will be you will be recognized amongst your peers and definitely if you are working in top institution then research is a basic criteria right so like you know uh, the institute where i work at spjmr so because it is aascb accredited right so aascb is a international accreditation body like in india you have nac nba so globally management b schools are given the accreditation by aascb it's a very prestigious so if you are aascb accredited that means you are a global institute so our institute is uh, aascb accredited and they have a track system of 3 years so in 3 years it is mandatory for me to have at least two publications in category journal at least two publication in 3 years it is mandatory at least they have not mandated that whether it should be c b or a but it is mandatory to publish two papers right so uh, if i am not able to publish uh, two papers two papers in this category journals in within 3 years i will not get the promotion i will not get the allowances i will not get the uh, uh, my my pay will not be increased and if maybe the if the institute feel that even i don't have anything in pipeline they may even ask me to go so this type of challenges are there even when i was working previously with iim they have such type of rules because you have to score a minimum number of points and unless and until you write one paper every year or every two years at least one paper you will not get that desired number of points so that is one of the biggest problem or one of the biggest challenge which is there in the journals now who are you now the next question which i want to answer is that who are you whose work will be published in high quality so you are not established scientist right so this if you are established scientist then maybe even some 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 low quality paper may also be accepted by a journal because you are a very renowned person but then you have to be out one out of this three your paper has to be concise and well written if your paper is concise and well written it will be published in high quality journals novelty of findings the findings that you have done are new novel you are able to you are able to uh, you know you are able to you convince your audience that there is some new findings which you have done and and that and these findings are not very difficult you have learned the models in last 5 days you can apply those models in different form in different studies in different type of problem statements and you can come up with some new finding and then results of general interest so we belong to this three categories let me tell you you also and me also we belong to this three category we are not established scientist we are not neither you nor me we are not established scientist right so once you once you are established scientist then you can write anywhere anything right a, a, a very derogatory statement to make but but that is possible so your work should be of general interest there should be uh, novelty of findings and then it has to be concise and well written what are the attributes of a good manuscript right so your manuscript your your paper will be published it has to be concise but powerful now uh, you know uh, there are journals which sets the limit of words so most of the journal will say you that your paper should be between 5000 to 8000 words some of the accounting journals are very long they 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 they, they goes up to 30 40 50 pages also then there are some journals which are called as letters if you will see the if you will see the abdc list you will find some journals jaise ek journal hai frl finance research letters finance research letter this is a a category journal they accept paper only with 2 to 5 pages maximum even they have published papers with one page one page so you go to this journal finance research letter so basically it's about modeling it's about it's about application of a new model to some existing theory right so but it's a a category journal your model has to be robust 
So what I'm trying to show with this is that you have both the type of journals which require very, uh, very high number of words or large number of words or big manuscripts. But at the end of the day, you have to remember that your manuscript has to be concise and powerful. It has to be concise. Don't write stories. Don't write stories. Don't write stories means when it comes to literature review, don't write excess literature review. These days, excess literature review are discouraged, right? Uh, Mr. Srinivas Rao has asked me, how can we improve our writing skills for meeting the international standards? So Mr. Srinivas, ultimately, it's all about reading. You keep on, re you, you read good papers and see that how they are writing. Now, let me tell you two things here. And this is very important, although I would have said this at the later part, but because you have raised this question, I'm, 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 I'm making this comment. Uh, one of the reasons why most of the Indian papers are rejected is because of the language. Uh, we are not very good in English, let me tell you. But when it comes to high quality publication, they require error free and top quality language. That means the language has to be excellent. There should be, there has to be a flow. It should be error free. There should be no mistakes of articles. We, we, we have the habit of making huge mistakes in articles. So what is the solution to it? The ultimate, there are only two solutions to it. One is get it copy edited by some of your colleague who, who is, who is, who is good in English. So teachers who are teaching English and English literature who are excellent in English, get it copy edited by them or get it. And, and the second is, which is very costly is get, get it copy edited by some professionals, but they charge hefty fee. So there are a lot of copy editing services, which are there. So unfortunately, uh, this is, this is one of the gray area in, in, in research when, when we are from India because uh, it is very difficult for us to write a paper in, in excellent language. Uh, that, is, that is definitely a big issue. And we have to find some or the other way uh, to, to overcome this, right? So best is to identify a, a good, good English teacher, especially the, 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 the teachers or the faculty members who are teaching in schools. They are very good in English and grammar. So by two or three iterations, by requesting them, and if you have, if you know someone, it's all based on contacts. And this is, this is, this is, I can tell you that, yes, this is a gray area. This is a gray area, which, which, which has to be met by individuals. Nobody can help you. And don't think that whatever you have written is perfect because, uh, you know, I have seen uh, uh, papers where, where I wrote the paper and I thought that it is perfect. And when I sent it for copy editing and when it came after editing, the editor, the copy editor, the person who did copy editing changed 90% of my content. So, so, so he said your, your paper was a trash. So this is, this is definitely a, a big issue. Yes, there are language softwares like, you know, uh, I, I, I sometimes, um, uh, you know, let me, let me show you. Just uh, I'm just showing you. So I hope you are able to see my word document. So I normally use this Grammarly, right? So Grammarly license is around ten thousand rupees per year. So I use this Grammarly. So if, if I write a sentence here, any sentence here, so Grammarly will try to, you know, let me say, you know, so I'm copying a sentence from my official document and I'm writing here. And now you can see, so this Grammarly here, so Grammarly is saying your sentence may be unclear or hard to follow, consider rephrasing. And then it is giving me that you can replace this sentence with this. So now if I replace this, I should see now I can replace directly. There are people who will replace directly, but then it is dangerous because it should not change the meaning of your sentence. So that is, that is where you have to keep in mind. So I'm not saying that these softwares are not good, the software. So I replace with this version. And now you can see that's quite an improvement. So that's that, that just, uh, so this is a very, uh, 
Now this Grammarly is 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 software which is and now it is saying no issues found, no issues found. So, so what I'm trying to show with this is that you can use this language software. I'm not saying that you cannot use this language software, but the problem in using this language software is you have to at the same you have to monitor. Uh, but at the end of the article, when the complete article you have done, at the end of the article, it is not necessary that still it is error free because because this this software this language softwares have their own limitations right they have their own limitations it's like robotics it's like robot which is doing something mechanically but if there is something new which comes like you know uh, it never takes the rs dot rupees it will, it will always give error because rs we write in india rupees 1000 uh, before the symbol somebody will use the symbol and somebody will use rs then organization and organization Z A and S A, depending on American English or UK English, again the software has its own limitations. So I'm not saying that you can, you should not use the software or you cannot use the software, but you have to keep in mind that uh, it has its own limitations. You can use those softwares. I use Grammarly, so it definitely gives me a a first cut. But as I said, it is not necessary that uh, whatever the Grammarly is giving me that is completely error free. So your manuscript has to be concise but powerful. It should be like a like a you know like story means. I'm not saying that it should be it should be a story. When you read, just आप कोई कहानी पढ़ते हैं, when you read some story, uh, you know uh, from a story book, there is a flow in that. So that is what is the meaning. The implied meaning of story like means there has to be a flow in your paper. There has to be a proper flow, a sequence. Whenever a paragraph completes and the next paragraph starts, it should your second paragraph should link with the first paragraph. your third paragraph should link with second and first your fourth should link with 3 2 and 1 there has to be a flow when you will read some some good research papers you will find that they are, they are flawless there, there is a there is a big there is a huge there is a, there is a, there, is a, there is a perfect synchronization between the line 1 and the last line which he has written uh, so that is the has to be there then to the point when you write research paper in india your literature review is of 10 10 pages a good international publication will throw your paper if you are if you have more than one third part of your research paper in literature review so that means if you are writing a paper of 5000 words uh, you should try to you should maximize your literature review up to 1500 words up to the point the data explanation which you are doing the methodology which you are explaining which is your own work your own work should be highlighted more your own work should be highlighted more in the paper in your own words it should be up to the point precisely this i have already said you it has to be free from grammatical and stylistic errors you cannot have grammarly grammatical errors you cannot you cannot have stylistic error stylistic error mostly comes in reference graphs charts every journal or every publication has their own style of graph own style of charts some says show everything at the end all graphs and charts should come at the end and reference has to be given in the text some says it should it should come in the text only then the format is also fixed that which format your manuscript will be in other format and your charts and graphs will be in other format we know that there are various type of referencing style so this stylistic error are not acceptable how tightly the the editor will throw the paper if there is any stylistic error uh, uh sorry to interfere sir but is it uh, like uh, right because i have seen few uh, research papers uh, which are without literature review at all so yes yes i agree your take on that also like yeah 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 i agree means these days literature review is not given much preference because when you are submitting a paper on a particular topic the the reviewer or the editor of that journal knows in high quality journal that whether this is a new study or not whether this is a new finding or not so even if you like i i gave you the example of finance research letter in a two page research paper what type of literature review you will do there is no literature review required so these days the concept of literature review or the excess amount of literature review is not acceptable means it is it is not a great idea in the research paper basically 
your own work what is the objective of your study what is the methodology what data you have collected what are the findings what is the contribution to the society what is the new contribution you are doing what is new finding that you have done based on the earlier findings that is what will be given preference technically your paper should be correct please remember this you know if your statistical models your mathematical models and your results are not matching technically if your paper is in flaw it will never be accepted at any place in the world whether it is c category or whether it is a star category technical errors are not acceptable at all so you have to make sure that technical errors are not there that 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 is that you have to do and referencing recognizing contribution of others is a is 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 a you know there is a there is a code of ethics you can go to the you can go to google and write code of ethics in research publication code of ethics in research publication c o p e so code of publication ethics us document ka naam hai c o p e so when you go to this document it is a big document and it or aisi choti choti cheeze usme likhi hain which we which we never think that this is this can also be plagiarism and somebody can object to it so you know research publication is a very sensitive matter it's a very sensitive matter and once you are caught of plagiarism your whole career as a researcher will be vanished it will be it will be completely finished if you are if if by any chance you are you are uh, you, it is proved that you have done any plagiarism or you have not followed the code of code of uh, professional ethics it is a copee document so code of publication ethics just go to that document whenever you get time and you will realize that what type of ethics or what type of how you have to recognize the contribution of others in your study this i have already discussed how to decide the journal for publishing definitely you should aim high go for the first year journal if you have time and temperament to write a good manuscript so you should definitely try for b category or a category if not a star at the initial stage right so but then as i said it requires lot of temperament it requires lot of patience because because they take they they they, they take lot much time uh, you know there is a there is a big time which is taken i'll show you one of my paper which is which is recently published in a a category journal so i I'll, i'll just show you that that uh... uh sir one more thing somebody has messaged me and he wants to ask this that when you were talking about reducing the length of review of literature for any good uh, you know publishing aspects so does it apply for like wild uh, writing phd thesis also no nowadays no phd thesis uh, you can write anything means phd thesis literature of review can be done yeah. right so phd thesis whatever i am saying does not apply to phd thesis whatever i am saying will apply to only research papers now you can see this article this is this is this is just the recent uh, before say, six days this has been published this has been published online this is one of the top category journal international review of finance this is uh you can see uh, vinay goyal and subrat mitra and see when I, when when i submitted this so this i submitted this on 22nd december 2019 and it is finally accepted on 23rd march 2021 right so so basically if you see it is around 14 months 14 months and there were at least four reviews so four reviews they are writing one major review which i did 3 3 march but before between this 22nd december to 3rd march i did one or two reviews but there was no response from the journal from 22nd december to 3rd march no response so i don't know whether this will be accepted or rejected or uh, you are always in confusion so 14 months there is nothing no communication so you need you, you, you need to have that type of patience if you if you will not have that type of patience uh then it will it is very difficult for you to to publish in category journals so to publish in category journals the important thing is uh, you need patience unless and until you have patience it will be very difficult for you to publish good papers so this is what i was this is what is written here aim high go for first year journals if you have time and temperament to write a good manuscript 
This I have already said again. Decide the target journal before writing or drafting the article. Now, why this is important? Because, as I said, every journal has its own style. You have to follow that style. If you will not follow that style which that journal wants, your paper will not be accepted. So once you start writing, the first thing you have to do is: this is my idea. This is my objective. I know that this journal will accept. This journal publishes this type of papers which I am writing. But because this journal publishes this type of papers which I am writing. i should also keep in mind that what is the style guide and every journal every every journal shows that what is the style guide so i'll i'll go to any journal and they will show you that what is their style guide every journal in the world you have to go to individual journal website i repeat you have to go to individual journal website and on that website they they categorically mentions that what is the publication style they are they are following so you, I, i'll just show you one you know to, to just you can see Elsevier Journal of Corporate Finance. This is this is a a a star category journal, Journal of Corporate Finance, Elsevier. And here you can see guide for authors. Guide for author. Every journal has a guide for author, and you have to follow this. Every journal now, every journal has a different guide. This is this is another problem. So if if I submit, if I write the article based on this journal. and uh, next time if this journal rejects my paper and now i have to redraft that paper i have to resubmit that paper to some other journal then i have to go to that journal website and redraft my paper based on that journal requirement so this is this is a this is a this is a irony in writing research paper but you can't help this is what basically we have to follow so you can see if you you guide for authors online if i click this you can download also in pdf and yeah you can see your paper your way and yeah you can see there is a submission fee of 300 dollars right so there is a submission fee this is not a publication fee this is a a star category journal right then journal policy statement the policy statement is given appeal procedure so if they have rejected you want to appeal submission checklist ensure that following items are present you have to all necessary files have been uploaded keywords figures tables separately further consideration manuscript has been spell checked and grammar checked right all reference mentioned are cited in the text and vice versa right so you write something in reference and don't cite in text or you write in text and you don't show the reference that is not acceptable and then here you can see ethics in publication ethical guidelines for journal publication so you will find that everything is given means it is just you have to you have to make sure that you are able to go to that particular journal website and find out so that is what is written here which i was showing you decide the target journal before writing or drafting the article so that you have to keep in mind you have to decide the target journal before you write or draft the article prefer those journals which publish similar work or the journal articles you are citing for your work i have already explained this that you should prefer journals which publishes similar type of work that you have to identify that is another type of research that you have to do this is a research identification of journal is also a research if you think that your competitor is ahead of you go for the second tier rapid publication journal because it is important to be first sometimes you may be you may be concerned that uh, there is similar work which can be done by others also so it is advisable that in that cases if you are able to publish if you are able to publish the paper early by publishing in those journals which have the rapid review process you should try to do that this i have detailed explain in the first class deciding the journal for publishing so SCI listed, Scopus listed, ABDC, ABS, and so on. That you can find out. This also I have talked. Do all journals charge publishing fee to authors? No. Reputable publishers offer two options: open access versus non-open access. For open access, they will charge something. For non-open access, they don't charge. So, as I said, please remember submission fee and publication fee submission fee is acceptable publication fee is not acceptable this also i have said these are the indersigns and igi global are the journal for these are very good journals 
for new researchers these are very good journals for new researchers so for for researchers who are starting their career for researchers who are trying to do the research for the first time for them under science and igi global are very ideal places to do the research all these points i have explained who is your target audience what is the prestige of your journal whether the journal is open access or not what is the impact factor of the journal then probability of acceptance and publication time this also uh, i have answered when the question was asked how important citations are citation is important it does not mean that citations are not any questions still here any questions still here sir many a times some journals take uh, more than 2 years time to review then what to do you can't help there are two two options one is you can't help wait for the decision and the second is then the second is write to the editor and the third and a very dangerous option is withdraw the paper <laughs> you can't help uh, there is there is nothing which which is which is controllable here we cannot control this then how to find like which journal will take less time to process all these things right so so you know uh, as i have shown you my paper you know there is go to a journal and see that when the paper was accepted and when the paper was submitted every journal every paper this these two dates will always be there one is the date of one is the what is the date of submission of paper and the other is the date of acceptance of paper these two are always available so you, you can very well go to those papers so you will be able to find that whether the whether uh whether the what, what is the what is the time period which they are taking for for publication for acceptance at least that is the that is the best way because uh, other uh, and then you can calculate the average maybe in some paper they have taken 3 months in some paper they have taken 6 months but uh, on an average you you may be able to find that which journals are taking less time right so some journals have very fast process there are some journals which charges uh, says, uh, some 100 dollars extra for rapid processing of your article so that is also that is also a practice which is there right so that that is again uh, not bad if we can afford the problem is affordability right sir thank you sir yeah any other doubts questions clarifications Uh, sir sir is asking how to improve citations so shrinivasa uh, to improve the citation there are two ways one is uh, 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 for improving citations one is if your paper is available in open access then definitely the citations will improve because then without subscription people can cite your article this is this is one but this is again uh, costly the second is your study is study is published in a good journal which has which has a high impact factor the meaning of impact factor directly comes from citation right so impact factor if if some journal has high impact factor that means that journal has high citations your work will be cited so that you have to keep in mind uh, other than that there is no other options your study has to be you know uh, that uh, of that level that people are able to follow your study and cite in various various work but if you can give open access then definitely the chance of citation increases right so uh, finally yeah yeah please go ahead uh, sir i have submitted uh, my papers in like some web of science and some ugc k listed journal hmm. Hmm. so they have some uh, editorial manager over there we have to log in and create our account and then hmm. Mm -hmm. uh the, there is a process of submission so mm -hmm. there are few uh, like few tabs like ones we have to fill all the details abstract mm -hmm. and keywords mm -hmm. and then so this one uh, one more tab is there like uh, mention the reviewer or uh, suggest some reviewer and without right. 
that the process is not completed correct so what to do in that case because if we do so not have the, any put in let me tell you let me tell you no academician in the world will refuse to do review for you search that who are the top professors in your area or top associate professors in your area across the world and write mail to 50 professors this is my guarantee that out of 50 at least 50% more than 50% will respond and the response will be positive okay okay you can simply write a mail that uh, i am submitting my work to so and so journal and that journal has asked the name of the reviewer will, will you kindly permit me to to suggest your name as a reviewer okay so with their due permission we can uh, suggest absolutely. the name as a absolutely absolutely okay okay i thought i thought we we should have some like reviewers of the other journals or something like that no so no, no 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 any professor in the world can be the reviewer go to the website go to find out make a list of 50 reviewers who are doing this type of work yeah. who are doing this type of work and you will be able to find it okay yeah thank you sir and a sir a sir one more query if you don't mind hello yeah yeah please go ahead please go ahead yeah uh sir even there are a few people that um, i mean they are charging some money on behalf of these journals and they said that we we'll publish the paper on and this is the publication fee so like should we trust on no, such kind no. of things no we should not we should not oh, okay thank you sir. thank you right so uh, finally the last part although most of the things i have discussed in my discussion uh, how to write a scholarly paper so this is the summary of whatever i have discussed till yet so writing is a critical step in a science although scientists are not trained to write so it is very important see we are social science as i said that we are not an expert in writing but whatever we write it has to be a proper flow and that is where sometimes the co-authors are required some great researches will only come when you have a collaborative work so i have written something then i give to my co-author he reads and makes some changes then again i read and make some changes then again he reads and makes some changes if we are three then there are three people who are who are banging the head on that particular work so you know collaborative work plays a very important role when it comes to research studies so we have to keep this in mind that uh, uh, we are not an expert in writing and hence we need to be very careful when it comes to writing even very critical creative experiments and novel results will have dull impact if the manuscript is not written well so this is a very important element we have to ensure that we write the manuscript well so what are key to writing skills write write and write free write your thoughts don't worry about structure initially use the best paper in your field as a template and try to convert your free write up into a format keep writing concise dynamic and simple in construction convey enthusiasm in your writing so it attract the audience very simple points but i hope it will give you an idea that this is how you have to practice and free write your thoughts don't think that what is the structure whenever you get a thought just write it on the computer ab to aur advantage ho gaya there are a lot of advantage you just ek word mein aap paragraph likhte jaiye you keep on writing the paragraph why you worry about that how the paragraphs will be arranged arrangement of the paragraph will be done at the end when 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 all the work is complete till that time you need not to do anything right so uh, when to write a draft of manuscript so you keep on writing divide and conquer as i said you have to make sure that the work is divided the work is divided between the participants between the between the co-authors uh great research papers i have i'm not saying that it is not possible but uh, you know there are very rare papers which are excellent research paper or great research papers and they have come up with a single author so great research studies have only come with with co-authorships with 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 with, 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 with work divided between various authors so that has to be kept kept in mind four questions of manuscript writing your introduction has to be powerful your methodology has to be powerful your results has to be powerful 
and your discussion has to be crisp and clear. You can see here nowhere in this four it is written that what is my literature. LR ke baare mein kuch nahi leka. There is nothing which is written. So these are the four major questions and your 80 to 85 percent of the manuscript should cover this. Your 80 to 85 percent of the manuscript should cover this. What is my introduction? What is the methodology I'm going to follow? What are the results I'm going to follow? What are the type of discussions that I'm going to do? This is the structure of the manuscript. Most of us know this. So there has to be a proper title. There has to be an abstract, introduction, methods, result, discussion, acknowledgement. Results. This is the structure. And these two, as I said at the start of the class, are very important. My further slides explain your titles and abstracts. So the title, the backbone of an article. Attractive and catchy title makes reader going through the article for sure. The impact of article titles on citation hits. So if your title is attractive, definitely you, you may get more citations, right? Abstract, as I said, your abstract has to be very powerful. If your abstract is not powerful, then again, you will have typical problems. Abstract has to be powerful. Most of the research studies are desk rejected. If your most of the research studies are desk rejected, when you do not have a proper title, a proper abstract, sorry. So you need to have a very, very efficient and a proper abstract, which, which explains the crux of your study. This is your skeleton, as I've already explained this, I, I am read, this is a skeleton of an article, I am read, right? So this is introduction, material, results, discussion, I am read, right? So this is another way of showing how to structure your article. Then there are some examples which I have given in this uh, in this PPT that how to write the introduction. Some examples of introduction are given some from some papers. Then I have given some reference of methods that how to write the methodology. Then I have given that how to write the results. How to write the results and scan some of the research paper. Then I have given the idea that how to do the discussion, how the discussion is being done. And then finally, how to write the conclusion. So conclusion is also very important that you have to keep in mind. So how to write the conclusion. References are to be written as per the requirement of the journal. References are to be written as per the requirement of the journal. You can use this software, which is called as EndNote to write the references. So you have to just keep on adding the paper in EndNote and then you can directly copy and paste the references. You can directly copy and paste these references from EndNote to your paper in whatever style they want. Automatically it comes. And EndNote also check whether your citations are correct or not between the text and references. This is a very robust software to do literature review. Then, as I said, you have to give the acknowledgements to funding agencies, intellectual contribution, dedication. Then, Proofreading is another step of writing quality paper. You have to continuously revise and do the proofreading of your paper three times, four times. At, after writing the first draft, at least a dozen versions or revisions are usually needed to improve the text. Make sure that all authors read the first draft and give them the timeline. Because when I write the co-authorship, when I write the research paper, uh, some of my seniors will give me the deadline that within four hours, you have to read this paper and give us the feedback. This is how the research paper are published. You cannot sit on the paper or your study and, and, and keep it lingering for a long period of time. The revision of the study is done so that the effectiveness of the study is there. There is a supporting information. Your, so we check the flow of the article and every time when you read, the reader comes up with a new question that whether this has been addressed properly or I have already said this, grammar and spelling errors are one of the important elements in a quality research paper to get it published in quality journals. This is an important slide. What are the major reasons for rejection? The study is just confirmation of previous research. If there is no nothing novel, it will be rejected. If there is a poor experimental design, it will be rejected. 
if the target journal is not suitable that means the choice of journal that you have done is not appropriate it will be rejected and if your manuscript is weakly written there is a language problem there is a technical problem the presentation is not proper the flow of the manuscript is not proper it will be definitely rejected ye maine google se liya hai this is available everywhere process of research and its publication so this is ye normally you know this is how यदि रिजेक्ट हो गया तब तो रिवीजन होता है सबमिशन एंड दिस प्रोसेस द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर दैट इन्फ्लुएंस वेदर योर मैन्यूस्क्रिप्ट विल बी कंसीडर्ड फॉर पब्लिकेशन आर द टाइटल एब्सट्रैक्ट एंड कवर लेटर योर रेपुटेशन बेस्ड ऑन योर प्रीवियस वर्क दिस इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल टू अस इवन आई हैव फोर फाइव ए पब्लिकेशन स्टिल आई एम नॉट अ रेप्यूटेड रिसर्चर so that means my research work will only be published if i have a proper title abstract and a proper cover letter title and abstract are two important things if you want to publish it so i am i will be very happy to answer any type of questions whatever you have sir what should be there in cover letter so cover letter uh, should not be this is kya hota hai ki cover letter should not be very pleasing i am submitting this manuscript in your esteemed journal i believe my work blah 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 it should be very formal very clear and uh, most of these days the most of the cover letter also contains the abstract right so uh, dear sir i am submitting this manuscript in this journal uh, for your reference i am i am pasting the abstract of my work in this cover letter i believe my manuscript will be suitable suitable for your journal as simple as that ab jitna simple likhenge utna acha hoga don't try to please the editor as matlab isme mera answer yahi hai ki don't try to please the editor right sir thank you sir uh shrinivas ji to set the attractive title you have to you have to read all the titles of the papers which you have taken as reference you have to take all the titles which you have taken as reference and then based on that you will come up with some some title and then get it verified by some people that whether this likes whether you like this or not whether you like this or not uh, you know uh, select four five topics four five title and then uh, you you only think that write that title on that paper and read that paper then use the second title and read that paper then use the third title and read that paper at the end of the day you will come to know that uh oh, that that whether this title is appropriate or not and then you can take the help of your colleagues whether you can of your co-author if you have uh participants do you have like more queries to ask from sir so you may ask your questions right now or send us in a chat box right so if they don't have any question we can wind up uh sir one one question out of curiosity like mm -hmm. you have said that if we will be using some copy editor or somebody's mm -hmm. help in order to correct our grammar and all so mm -hmm. do we need to like refer him anywhere like uh... acknowledgement yes acknowledgement okay they don't become the co-author but you have to acknowledge okay okay so as a as a courtesy like we have yes. to acknowledge is... or it is a mandatory like uh, no it is it is it, it is it is code of professional ethics that you should recognize the contribution of anybody yes uh, if you have taken the help sure sir thank you right okay thank you thank you
thank you so much sir uh, once again you have you know it's a matter of pride and as well as our privilege to have you every time whenever you know we require uh, any insightful knowledge sessions from your end so thank you so much sir once again from the entire ibmr and as well as sctp organizing committee so thank, thank you. you so much sir thank and you. we'll always look forward for your sure, sure. as well thank, thank you. you so much sir nice to have you here thank you so much thank you sir thank you sir thank you and uh, now so since we have you know uh, come to an end of the this entire six days journey of this uh, uh, sttp on financial analytics so now uh, i would request uh, our program co coordinator um, dr manshi kukreja to uh, to uh, you know to just present a summary of whatever we have learned in all these six days and uh, so that we can go ahead and go ahead with the program manshi ma'am over to you thank you dipti ma'am thank you so much good afternoon participants uh, i first of all thanks to aict for in sponsoring six days short term training program and uh, uh, provide us the opportunity to ibmr ips academy i also thank our president architect achal k choudhary for providing support for proper implementation of training program i thanks to our director and program chair dr vivek singh kushwa and program coordinator dr sachin mittal whose guidance help us to design the program in a systematic manner then i thanks to my team co coordinator professor neha sau and professor dipti shastri for working in a team for overall properly conducting the training program and at last i i want to thanks to galaxy of speaker dr saurav agarwal dr prabhat pankaj dr shripad kulkarni dr vivek singh kushwa dr panvesh chatterjee dr cp gupta and dr vinay goyal for covering such a wonderful topics like introduction to r financial modeling using advanced excel regression analysis in finance multiple regression analysis regression analysis using dummy variables quantitative finance portfolio management using r forensic finance using case study data visualization and presentation publication in high co impact journal and accounting and finance the galaxy of speaker just given us a vast knowledge of in all these field hope participant you have learned from this session and at last i would like to thanks to our participant really their involvement and their presence means a lot to us for smooth functioning of this sttp program thank you dipti ma'am and it's over to you uh thank you so much mansi ma'am and uh, since you know we have come to the end of this workshop so it is time for uh, taking some and daring ourselves for the exam so uh, participants uh, uh, two things i need to mention first i have floated um, feedback form links um, in the whatsapp group so two feedback forms we have floated one feedback form is for this session and another feedback link we have floated which talks about overall feedback for the entire sttp workshop on financial analysis so make sure that you will fill all the, both the uh, feedback forms on time now uh, as far as examination guidelines are concerned so we are forwarding uh, entire examination guidelines um, and the exam is going to happen on a on a online platform named uh, testmos so we are forwarding you all the link for examination as well as uh, the uh, how to appear and what are the general do's and don'ts for the examination and to name a few uh, i would like to cover here that there will be 50 multiple choice questions would be there the exam time is of 60 65 minutes your exam is going to start from 2:30 uh, pm today and the link for the same would be open till 11:59 pm uh, tonight but make sure since the exam is of 65 minutes so make sure that you must log in before 11 pm anyhow today and also one more thing you need to keep this thing in mind uh, whenever you want to appear uh, in the test then only you just you know log in yourself and uh, enter the password because as because you can appear the test only once so for the checking purpose do not sign in and write the password and uh, start the exam because you won't be able to give the exam twice so if you are actually ready then only you have to uh, press the link 
and uh, and yes one more thing one small thing which i need, uh, need to mention that please kindly mention your correct full name as well as the correct institute name which you want to get printed on the certificate so during the just before the uh, you know uh, 50 questions there will be a field for writing your name and write your writing your institute name so kindly uh, write your full name and institute name which you wish to printed on your certificates remaining all the examination guidelines we are 5 minutes from now we are floating in our whatsapp group madam uh, can i tell one thing yes ma'am yes, it will please sir Uh, if you can send this test link to the mail somehow yes, it is yes. not working from the whatsapp that is my yes, yes, definitely definitely i just i just missed that part so the guidelines and the uh, test links we are going to mail to all the participants and as well as we are sharing in the whatsapp group so do not thank worry ma'am thank you yes is there is there any query uh, manti ma'am uh, you wish to say anything did i like forget anything or something No, no, ma'am. If we have covered all the things and participants, please note that the time limit is sixty-five minutes. Okay, and it is auto submitted. You know, no, no need to go for that. If you are outside, you are going to test. So, no problem. You will be submitted. Right, right, right. And uh, we, uh, we coordinators are remotely available over the phone till nine pm. So, for any queries uh, related to your exam, so although the link will remain open till eleven fifty-nine pm, but I. I think we would suggest that if you better you you know appear and take the exam as early as possible. So I think uh, that is that. So on this note, uh, you know, I'm just we are just signing off, and we call it a day. And uh, all the best, all dear participants, and um, uh, do your paper. And and yes, one more thing. Uh, there is a minimum passing marks also required for the examination to get the certificates so please also do take this thing in your mind as well right okay so thank you all you have been the uh, wonderful uh, participants and we had a great knowledge enriching session from past 6 days so thank you so much thank you so much mansi ma'am and uh, thank, thank you so you. much ma'am thank, thank you. you thank you participants thank you